Um, I'm Hamish Nugent from Reed & Co Distillery. We're located in uh, Bright Victoria, North East. Reed & Co uh, started off in the back of a restaurant. Uh, our main purpose was to distill beverages for ourselves, for our few bars that we had at the time. Uh, and then we morphed into what we are today, a full dedicated distillery. So we started off like many in Australia, making uh, craft gin. So the first being Remedy Gin, our native Australian bush gin. Uh, across to Neo, which is more of our Japanese focused um, gin, which is all based on Japanese botanicals from the northeast. Um, and now we work with a lot of uh, koji based spirits, so shochu. So Remedy is really focused on the northeast. So what we're trying to get there is a real nice flavour profile of our natural region. So we're using things like eucalyptus citradora, peppermint leaf, mountain pepper leaf and berry for that really quintessential dry spice. Um, and copious amounts of juniper and that's what makes it gin. Neo is same distillation techniques as Remedy, so it is a London dry in the way of legalities, but we're really focusing on those Japanese botanicals from the northeast of Sencha Green Tea, Yuzu and Shiso. So <laughs> gin and juice, we use Gewurz Tremina. So like most grape juice, uh, it's quite sweet. So what we do there is we put it through a fermentation process uh, to knock some of those sugars off and then we use the Neo at 92% alcohol to fortify it. Uh, so it leaves us with this really kind of refreshing, bright citrus gin with a little bit of sweetness on the finish. Look, Remedy, uh, from day one, we kind of wanted it to be a gin that could be used in a lot of the classic gin and tonics, all the way to just drinking it on the rocks with a garnish. So from Martini, Negroni, it works really well. Whereas the Neo, the New World gin, is more a place with something with a more citrus-driven beverage but still works well in a martini. So for the last three years we've been working on shochu, uh, which is a Japanese-based uh, spirit. It's actually consumed, it's the highest consumed alcoholic beverage in Japan currently, um, but it's less known in the Western world. So we've brought a lot of those traditional Japanese processes across here to Australia where we make the koji um, into long ferment, 30-day fermentations and a mixture of um, atmospheric and cold distillation. So we can really get some of those fresh fruit aromas from the ferment, which is a bit different to um, other Western based spirits. Um, shochu can be used from anywhere, drinking it neat, uh, on the rocks with water, or in an array of cocktails. It's quite a flexible spirit. One of our most popular beverages is the gin and juice. So this is um, at the moment running under our Spirit Lab Label. Spirit Lab is a really creative space where we can take away and do things that aren't so viable, one-offs or 100% just experimental out of interest. Um, this year our 2022 Gin and Juice is absolutely amazing. Um, it'll be showcased through Gin and Tonica on release. Um, we're hoping to have that out around July.